are here to protest the primate experimentation. And what the main thing that we're going through is that they are vivisecting or experimenting on these primates while they're alive without painkillers. That is wrong, especially when our DNA is not like theirs. So it's basically fraud for big business. We have no business experimenting on these animals just because we can. That's not the moral question is, who gave us that permission? If Gandhi says we can judge our country by the way we treat our animals, then shame on us that we torture these animals for big business and profit. And I want everybody to know that not only in UCLA, but it goes on in every hospital nationwide. If they have nothing to hide, open the doors. Let us see. Let's this see is, what their, se this is their secret is. Sorry, this is medical fraud because we've done these experiments since 19, uh, 1960. It's the same experiments. We know the results. They do it just for research money. And since our DNA is not the same as monkeys, even if it's 1% different, that 1% could be fatal and kill us. You cannot jump from species to species. Even a bimbo like me knows that. I, they can't fool me. I know they are doing this for a big business. So I'm here to profit big business. Let's all please join together and, and speak up for these little guys. They don't have a choice. People have choices. Can I see up? Yes. Yeah. 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 Here we an expert. My name is Matt Roselle, and I worked for two years inside of a primate lab. And this place just broke my heart every day. I mean, we're talking about thousands and thousands of monkeys all over the country in labs just like here at UCLA that are taken, everything natural is taken from them. They are social just like us and they're kept in isolation. They're taken away from their mothers too young and it makes them go mad. I saw monkeys that were so psychotic, they literally tear their own bodies apart, chewing on their own limbs because they've gone crazy. They're, they're biting themselves, they're attacking themselves, they're pulling out their hair, they're showing stereotypy, circling and pacing in the cages because they have nothing to do in this stark environment. They're treated like furry test tubes and the research is not even working. We need to spend this money on good clinical research, on new innovative technologies and get away from the dark ages and start doing spending this money on things that are really gonna be useful to us as taxpayers. Stop the mayhem. Hey, listen, we are going to go to the chancellor's office and see what's going on. Let them open up their doors if they have nothing to hide. Our money needs to, we need to know where this money is going. We need to know what these universities are doing. So we're asking them to open up the doors. So please come with us and, and help, help us ask them open up the doors. Yes. Stop the suffering. The My name is Kevin Lawrence. I'm a UCLA graduate from 1986. I flew down a few weeks ago to our march because I'm disgusted at what my university is doing to these primates and these other animals. It is fraud. It is $200 million a year's worth of medical fraud. It does not work. Species do not cross platform. And when they're done, they wind up doing human trials anyway. I have come to this university three weeks ago to shred my diploma and my disgust for this university. I applaud all these people for coming. I've come from Canada. We'll continue to bring people from every country in the world to protest this fraud. This has got to stop. And these people have the right way, and this university is an embarrassment to the diploma that it proclaims. Woo! Yay! Kitty yeah. Liberation Front will fit free these primates! Hi, my name is Shelly Ladd and I'm the president of Mindy's Memory Primate Sanctuary where we rescue these animals when they are released from research. We've got 74 primates now. We were just offered a new one out of the University of San Francisco, which we plan on taking. So there is a life after research for these animals if they can be released. Thank you.